Hello, it's Ross, November 2011, Flying Line back out. Uh, just a quick one, we're walking round the base of Rusaisen or Kaila, which is the big fortress where the climatic battle was fought against the Saxons. Uh, you can read about that in Arthur the Walking, in the forthcoming book. And while walking around the base of it this time, rather than over the top, and looking across the valley there, Tim has pointed out something interesting. Because we've got another steep hill enclosure type. Well, it's, got, it's a steep hill. Tim, Tim just looked it up and it's, uh, uh, it's well, it's Kailan. Kailan. I'm not quite sure you'd say it really. But the, the point of it is, it's the enclosure of the church. But again, what this shows is if you were um, invading this way or that way, whichever way you're coming, you get funneled down these very narrow valleys where you've got the new road where the railway line used to be. So that's the natural point of moving. And where we are at the moment, where we've been walking, is along this, what do you call it again, Tim? A Holloway. A Holloway. With the idea, it's an absolutely beautiful walk. And the idea of a Holloway is it's been travelled for so many generations, so long, it's gradually become more and more sunken as you go along it. And as you can see by the castle going back and forth, it's the major thoroughway. And if you go down there, you'll see the sides, like six feet, they're right above your head. Well, you get an example there, look. We're just worn away, worn away, and this used to be there, the cart tracks. And it's a bit muddy now. What you do find is lots and lots of stones. And this has clearly been uh, cobbled uh, at some point. So again, we're actually on the side of Lusaison, the Kyra. Up behind these farms here. It's a really commanding uh, hill fort. You wouldn't have just wandered past it and skate. You'd have to deal with it. So there you go, just a little snapshot of the fortress of Glamorgan. Right, so we're now on the north side, going round the hill. And what's yeah. over there we can see, Tim? Right, this is the uh, north side of Kyra. And if you look through here, through the trees, you can see two distinct horizontal ridges there. Actually, not this first bit of field, but the, um, on, the, on the main incline in the distance, just behind these first set of trees, you can see the uh, horizontal ridges through their ditch and mound defences. Um, yeah, very clear. Which I presume would have gone all the way around uh, the fortified area at, uh, when it was constructed. Yeah, because we usually come in the other end, don't we? So, uh, yeah. It's interesting to see how this side was protected and why we think the other side was the main entrance. Because that's actually very steep as well, isn't it? It's, it's very steep all the way around. I don't know if you noticed when we drove past on the south side of it, um, the, the incline was, was uh, very marked. I mean, it'd be a very difficult assault for anybody to, uh, to carry out. Fantastic. Here we are. Let's make everyone a little bit envious. Especially if you're stuck in a lockdown situation. Glorious sunshine's come out. This is the view from the base of Rusaisen. Birds flying overhead. Wonderful. And that big hill you can see in the background, that's Lantricent over there. You can see the houses gradually encroaching here. Still absolutely glorious day. Wonderful to be out. And walking around enjoying it. It's not just history, you know. You have to appreciate the wonders we've been given as well. And this would be really the start of the approaches if you're coming from the northern side. Tim's giving you a bit of scale there. And from there, pretty much goes straight up. And this would be the, the tough route. And as you've already seen, there are ridges surrounding it. Go, here's the base of the. Well, it's like a fort, really, isn't it? This is the, the Karai Castle. It's very formidable. Are you going up there? You can see another ridge there. Look, all the re remains. Yeah. It's become a path. This might become a path, that one. Can yeah, we'll go up. Yeah, happy you go, Tim. Show us how it's done. I want you to run, mate, pretending you're yeah, carrying yeah, a heavy yeah. shield and it's spear. A it's a bit slippy. Though. And I'll throw things at you just to sort of get some extra realism, yeah? Look at him, he's like a young gazelle. There's a stunning walk around here, look. Follow this round, this is a approved uh, walking path and all that. 
and it's steep it's higher than I thought as well because don't forget this isn't the top of the hill by the way <laughs> this is just the first bit first lime defenses wow fantastic isn't it good effort Tim obviously I will be running up <laughs> just got to you know camera angles and all that kind of stuff not because I'm unfit and don't fancy the climb <laughs> nice one Tim Tim's got a better beard as well Right, so if you can hear me wheezing, I did feel obliged to go up as well. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the way he came up. I did want to tell that I doubt the trees were there in the past. If I keep a clear field of view, I'm for chucking nasty things at people. You don't want to give cover with all these trees, do you? And then we get to the top, look at this. First the slopes then. Ah, as we get towards the summit of the hilltop. This is meant to be a short walk, Tim. Get me back at my feet again. <laughs> You're like a mountain goat going up there. A mountain goat? You can't a say that. Goat up there. Oh a mountain goat, so I miss you. Well don't call you an old goat. <laughs> I think it's a mountain goat, I'm very worried about that. <laughs> Okay, I was looking at some of the old maps recently and you look at the uh, things like the uh, 18, was it 1870, 1880, 1888 maps um, and then you look at the modern ones and Google Earth and all these houses that you see here nothing was there yeah, nothing wonderful. was there, just, just empty, barren yeah. uh, countryside well, my home village at Tom Teg didn't exist. No. There was Church Road leading up to St. Ithelstead's Church. And you had a uh, little place around there, now called uh, Clan Ithelstead, with Church of Ithelstead. Yeah. And that was it. And now there are only thousands live there, all these houses are new. I mean, the brown ones have come in the last couple of years. It's quite remarkable the house building that's going on. You do wonder who's going to live in all these houses. They seem to sell. What a shame we haven't got more views and film what the pods are like. Because the fun, the, I mean, it's still stunning views now, isn't it? See, we've got another hill there, look. It's a very steep one as well, isn't it? Was oh, is that the one we're looking at, yeah? That's the one we're looking at. That was the, uh, yeah, yeah, that's the Kai Clan thing, isn't Kai it? Kai Kai Clan. Interesting one. Then we go up another long, long level and up again. <laughs> I just realised we really should have parked one car at that end, one car at this end, and not have to come back to the car. <laughs> Social distancing, separate cars, all that stuff. Yeah, perfect exercise. Fetlocks of a two year old stallion. <laughs> Good effort, Tim. Oh, as I captured Tim, I think I've reached the top. <laughs> oh, there's another blasted hill. You are kidding me. Oh, good grief. This thing is massive. And Tim disappears over yet another bro. I think that is the top. And if you want to see that look, what that looks like, oh, go to the other video about uh, the site of Arthur's famous battle. So it looks to me like he's going up again. And for day, <laughs> I had to get back in shape. I think you just want to see Tim's just dot in the distance now. Let's try and zoom. <laughs> and on he goes. 
<laughs> over yet another brow. Yeah, watch the other video. Hope you like this. Just a short one to show we're alive. And there is life outside your house. Whoop, Tim's waving. Well done, Tim. <sighs> so we are. Surprise, subscribe, hit the notifications if you want to see more of these. I'll let you know when the live transmissions are on, which is every Sunday, 8 o'clock UK time. Whew. Join the Britain's Hidden History Project. There's plenty for everyone to do. So if you want to get involved, please do. And thanks for all who's already uh, contributing. This is a team effort and it's great. So from me, as I find a place to sit down, it's supposed to be easy on the way back, mine. Till the next time. Heather. <laughs> well, that's me done, all right. I am sweating a bit. Ah, oh, it's a trouble to stay indoors these lockdowns, working on books. The first I walk is to the coffee machine and back. <laughs> and I'm paying for it. So stay active, stay fit, all right? Healthy mind, healthy body, all that kind of thing. And uh, I'm going to say goodbye from here with these stunning views. <clears throat> So for all those involved, the helping, brilliant. The bigger the better, the more the better. If you want to get involved, whether it be Arthur, ancient writing, um, the migrations, Brutus, all that kind of stuff, it's all been hidden from us. And we're unhiding it. Can't we say finding it? Never lost. Um, revealing. No, that's not even the right word. Whatever you think the right word is. Uh, you're welcome to join. More the merrier. Plenty to do. So from me, Ross, until the next time, Hedu. Ah, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed that and found it informative. Britain's Hidden History Group has so much more going on on our YouTube channel. The one you're watching now, there's a live stream, 8 o'clock UK time every Sunday. We speak to people like Wilson and Blackett, reprint their old books and help produce new ones. We go researching to the tops of mountains all the way down to the bottoms of caves. Busily recording the books, you can listen to them as well and looking at mysteries and working out what we're not being taught in schools and preserving it because the physical and written evidence is rapidly disappearing. You can also find out how to read ancient writing and hieroglyphs using the Welsh language. It's amazing. It's a Facebook group where this is being discussed. Along with the website, you can buy the books and help us. Also, as you can see, there's now a Patreon page where just a few pounds a month will make all the difference in trying to keep the project going and preserve this history for future generations and also to find out for ourselves what is going on. What is Britain's hidden history? So until the next time, Hedu!